Kian. Made in Japan. Not a bad carburetor. Not at all. Until it looks like this. So the proper way to do it is take everything out, keep it in place, where it goes, in order, how you took it apart, how I go from left to right, and then float bolt screws always in the front, and then jets and everything that came out of it in order as it was in line with the floats, starting with the floats going this way. That makes me, and I take pictures the whole way. It makes me very aware of what I've been doing, how I did it, what I did, and what came out and where it came out of. I don't really necessarily need to take this apart. This is your idle adjustment screw. It just goes into here. Just blow it off with some cleaner. When I'm done, it'll be spotless because I'm going to run it in the ultrasonic cleaner. And I'll show you that process in a second here. We take and blow out all the orifices, gum out first. And then I hit all the orifices with air to make sure that everything's cleaned before I go putting it back together. And then I make sure that the back side of the throttle plate's not filthy dirty. Sometimes it gets carved up with carbon, you know, gummed up with carbon on the back side. This one's pretty clean. It's been sitting quite a while, so we're going to dunk it in the tank for about three hours. Let it sit in there and vibrate and then we're gonna put the carb kit back in it, it comes with the new new needle it has a permanent seat pressed into it so once I'm done with the ultrasonic cleaner it'll be good to go we'll have the new uh, base gasket for the float bowl it comes with the little springs and all the little o-rings that go into pieces like this there's a couple o-rings that need to be replaced on that the idle screw o-ring um, comes with a new plug. This little plug right here goes in this orifice right there. It's obviously not it fits, but it doesn't fit that great. It'll fall out. Put that back in its place where it goes in order. There's O-rings that go on almost everything. So, always check your orifices. There was an O-ring that was buried down in one of these. Uh, where was it? It was down here. There was an O-ring that was buried down in that hole. So I had to dig it out with a pick and then put it back on the piece it came off of so that I can replace them all. Now we're going to take it out to the tank. We're going to run it with Ajax dish soap only. That's what I use. Ajax dish soap. We're going to clean this puppy up. And uh, we'll show you how this thing works now. Never ever use your ultrasonic cleaner without putting water in it first. I got a fairly large one as you can see. Pretty big. We're gonna dump this puppy in here. I can do two, three carburetors at a time, not having to worry about it. Then we'll plug it in. It's got a switch on the back. We'll turn it on, and that activates the front panel. We're gonna set our temperature in reverse. That goes to 80. I don't want to go that hot. I'm going to go down to 70, which is Celsius. It's about 125 degrees or something like that. So I go to 60. Actually, I'm sorry. And then we'll turn the heater on. I already put warm water in it, hot water, as so I can get out of the tap. And then on this one, I'll go backwards because it's easier to go from 5 to 30. And hit it on. So every 30 minutes, I'll check it. It's pretty fucking loud, so I run it outside. Fucking bad. 